collaborations and decluttering combine. My good friend Jessica from the Mommy Archives and I are collabing today to bring you 10 decluttering tips. I'm going to share two of my tips on this channel and she's going to share three of hers and then I want you to go over to her channel where you can watch three more of my tips and two more of hers. So let's get right into it. My first tip is that as you're trying to purge and declutter your home, that you evaluate items for their actual use and not their potential use. All of us accumulate items in our home that we could potentially get use out of, but in reality, we're not really using them. For example, I got rid of my garlic press recently because I always buy minced garlic in a jar. I'm never actually using the garlic press even though it may come in handy. Or perhaps you have that dress in your closet that you bought a few years ago and spent a lot of money on and you think, oh, but one day I'll get use out of it, but really you're never going to wear it because you don't feel good in it. Get rid of it. Free yourself of it. Ask yourself, am I actually going to use this item and be honest with yourself about it? One thing I wanted to add here is that a lot of us tend to hold on to things simply because we spent money on them. I cannot tell you how much that is holding you back. I used to do the same exact thing. I would hold on to things thinking, well, I haven't gotten near enough use out of it for how much I paid for it. And we think we're wasting our money by getting rid of things, but really we're just wasting precious space in our homes by holding on to these things that we don't actually use. Remember that as you're decluttering, the less stuff you have, the easier it is to take care of it. We just moved and we're actually still in the process of moving and we don't have a ton of stuff and it is so much easier to move when you have less stuff. But then when you are sitting steady in one place, it's easier to keep everything clean and it's easier to take care of everything and you value it more because you have less of it. One tip that has really helped my family through the decluttering process is finding a home for everything. Perhaps you've heard the phrase, a place for everything and everything in its place. It's a pretty popular phrase in the decluttering world, so to speak, but it's also a very true phrase. Yes, it's great to go and get rid of things and purge, but the things that we do have need to be put away in an orderly manner to keep our house looking nice and presentable and organized and so that we know where to find things and when we're cleaning, we know where to put them back. It makes life so much easier and less hectic. It reduces anxiety. Make sure all of your possessions have a place where they belong and that when you're done using something, you put it back in that place. Doing that one thing will tremendously help keep your home decluttered. Stop bringing in what you don't need. I think all of us are suckers for deals. And if we find something that we feel like we just can't pass up, but it's not something that we actually need, it's going to cost you money. You might think that you're saving 90% on an ottoman, when in reality, it likely could just become a piece that you end up hating and adds clutter to your house. You don't have to avoid deals completely, that's not what I'm saying, but be honest with yourself about if you really need it. If you didn't need it before you saw it, then there's a really good chance that you don't need it now. My next tip is that as you're going through your possessions, really evaluate where you're placing your joy. Now, this may seem like a really random tip when compared to all the practical tips we've given you in this video, but if there is a heart issue at hand that's preventing you from getting rid of things, that's something that needs to be dealt with. Otherwise, the patterns are just going to continue. Are you finding value and joy in things instead of people and relationships? These are tough questions to ask ourselves because we don't always like the answers we get, but if there's a purity of heart issue going on, you really need to work on that because otherwise you're just going to continue the habit of buying things and bringing new things in your home to try to fill this void in your life that really needs to be filled with other things. This may be difficult, but just remember that your worth is not found in your possessions. You are worth more than what you own. Thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to go over to Jessica's channel, The Mommy Archives. Subscribe to her. She's wonderful. She is one of my best YouTube mommy friends. I love her. I know you're going to love her too, so be sure to check her out, and I'll see you next time. Bye!